Welcome back to the channel, people, and welcome to the collaboration you didn't know you needed. <laughs> I think hopefully, that's the, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a familiar face on the channel. Luke, welcome to the channel. Thanks for having me. Luke from Up and Down Golf, of course. If you haven't checked it out, check out the link in the bio, and I'm going to put some animated uh, link down below. So check his channel out. What a guy. You don't know this, but one of the first channels I started watching before starting my own channel. So wow. uh, there you go, high praise. But yeah, we're here for the golf. We're here for the golf. We're here at the beautiful Woolly Park Golf Club in Wakefield, yes. I believe. I almost said Lee's, but Wakefield. Yeah. And today's video is a nine hole match play format. But Luke, you're playing off 12 handicap. I am. And I'm off 26 at the moment. And as you guys know, my biggest struggle at the moment is the tee shots. So today, I think very generously, Luke is letting me play off the red tees while he plays off the yellows. I've not played this course, so I don't know how big the advantage is going to be. Never played the format. Hopefully it's competitive, but yeah, nine holes. May the best man win. That's it, isn't it? It's 14 shot difference, but so we're trying to figure out if nine holes on red tees would be enough. There's only one way to find out. The only one way there? to find out. Hole one. Let's get it. Let's get it. Good luck, mate. <laughs> Come on. Hole number one. Obviously, uh, we've got L we've got Luke going first because he's playing off the yellows, as you can see. Yeah, I'm over there on the reds. Not the biggest advantage on this hole, I'll be honest, but <laughs> let's see what we can do. Hole ten. It's a 367 yard par four, straight uphill. It's quite tricky this one. Green's a little bit slopey down, so you want to go past the pin when you get there. It's SI 11. So let's see if I can keep the driver in play. The answer is yes, he can. Yeah, that was munched. And there goes my uh, tee shot advantage. <laughs> Great <laughs> shot, mate. Let's go! <laughs> He's caught me on a good day. Right then, <laughs> follow that drive up. I've got maybe, maybe 15, 20 yards advantage here. Five wood for me. Like Luke said, keep it in play and we're all right. Oh, he smokes it. Look at that. In there somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Back on We'd his love own to channel. see that. Back on his own channel, the golfer turns up. <laughs> God, that pin looks a long way, a long way away from here. Ball below feet, so it wants to go right. Seven iron in hand. It's a runner. Yeah, I mean, top tip. It is a runner. I'm gonna blame. I'm gonna blame the lie on that one. We're in play. Let's see what Luke's got. Right. So I've got a 140, but I'm like in some sort of weird ditch thing. I can't really make head and tail of it. Um, you want to be past this pin, really. So I'm going to take seven iron. I'm figuring uphill. I'll lose distance. Weird stance. Probably going to lose distance. So more club should do the trick. Oh, it's gone left nice. on me. Oh yeah, that's oh, quite nice. Edge. <laughs> I think we're putting. If you didn't see the last video on Luke's channel, on the front nine we played quite an interesting match and, and Luke, I think, finished one over par. Bear in mind he plays off 12, so <laughs> carrying yeah. on where he left off. I apologise for that. Just, uh, <laughs> that's not what Dennis signed up for. <laughs> Great shot, mate. Cheers. Luke is on the green, so pressure on. We've got... 60 yards to the middle, so needs to be a nice, nice 58 lob wedge here. Dennis is also carrying on where he left off. Absolutely. Um, yeah, just bring, the, in fact, bring the camera and we run it back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, it's, um, well, you've been, if you've seen any of my recent videos, you know I am, I am struggling with all parts of my game, not least the short game. Right, come on. So yeah, here for, here for two, yeah. put him for third, for yeah. the birdie. Yeah. So um, let's see if we can two put from here and uh, close out the hole. Nice and quick, going about his business. <laughs> Ruthless today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's not 
hit that one so well. Uh, yeah, some meat on that bone. A little bit of meat on the bones. I don't really want to be going up there and trying to hole out, so. You'd rather I drop this is what you're saying? Um, you said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, give it a go. You did. Right. So, down for five. <laughs> In the sticks. Um, but you never know. You never know. Let's see what we can do. Tell you what. Oh! <laughs> gave it a go. We gave it a go. A nice early lead. <laughs> Seemed comfortable. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Eight holes to go. So, number 11 is. Cheeky little par three. It's got a couple bunkers at the front. You're safer if you go long. And the pin's 143. So I'm gonna hit an eight iron. It should carry about that distance. Um, and just aim on that left side. Try and keep out of those bunkers. I give myself a two put on the green. That's all I'm looking for. It's very good. Just a bit right. <laughs> Honestly, I never stood. I never stood a chance today, did I? <laughs> That's close. He, he, when was the last time you missed a green? Just for reference, he can't remember. He can't remember. I don't know. Right over to me. <laughs> Pretty much the same shot as as Luke, but an extra ten yards <laughs> of advantage to to relish in. Um, pitching wedge in hand. 131 yards for me. Oh, it's fat. It's going to be way short. It's a great line. Oh, that's a shame because it was a good line. So heavy though. It's been the story of today, really. I'm struggling. Yeah. Struggling with strike big time. Very steep. Very heavy. Mo I'm taking chunks out of the golf course. Yeah, move your, move your low point like two inch, an inch forward and... Yeah, we're in the money. Right, I mean, let's take a look at that. Absolutely zero let up from Luke. He's in there for eight feet. <laughs> and I'm here, so I'm looking at getting up and down just to half the hole, really. Right, come on. It's a wonderful shot. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Very nice, that, mate. Thank you. Right, looks quite a nice put, this. Not what I want to hear, just, really. Just off that right edge. It's probably not too dissimilar distance, to be honest. So, even if Luke misses this, I've got a lot of golf left to play here. Oh, he never turned. He never turned. It's good for me. Damn. Easy par. Right. <laughs> Okay, hole 12, this is SI3, this one. It's 408 yards. It's all downhill. Um, as long as you keep your drive in play, you are pretty much okay. The tricky bit is trying to get your approach shot right going downhill. I feel like this is the first hole where I've got an advantage. So yeah. Luke off the yellows here. Then he's supposed to be what? Zoom here. 60 yards in front of me here? That is where I'll be teeing off from. So, I mean, let's just see if I can make any sort of advantage work from this, but yeah, Luke taking driver off the tee. More of the same, please, D-stick. Oh, it's gone a little right. Not sure. Yeah, one it's, of them ones. Bounced it's, pretty straight. Yeah, it's it's gonna be in those trees on the right hand side, I think, which could be tricky. It's gonna it's gonna make that approach extra yeah. difficult. It's one of them ones. Could be really good or it could be stinky. That's it. If, if it's got through the trees, I could be okay. Just have to see. Yeah. Okay. Let's make the advantage count here. I've gone for the hybrid. A little fairway finder would be lovely. Oh, might need to straighten up a bit. Yeah, we could. Uh, you might be all right, you know. You're far might enough. Might be blocked out. Left rough. 
Not horrendous. Not horrendous. I haven't got could have been in the middle of that. But of course, Luke is <laughs> all good, past the rubbish, and he's actually got a line to I the green. I've kind of got a line. If I went full club, I'd hit that tree in front of me, so I am going to have to punch this below this tree and try and trickle it up to green. I'm going to try and put a little bit of fade shape on it, but I mean, out of here, to be honest, would be ideal. Oh, caught it that too is well. So good. Still rolling, you know. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be short. Right. Here we are. We're ignoring the tree because it would be a gap budget coach anyway. Oh, it's a worldie. Yeah, the lack of spins not done you any favours, but. Shot it was. Probably could have got away with 54 there. Yeah, it was a good hit. Thank you. How far have we got? Well, 53 yards. 60 red. Yeah, you'll do well to stop it if you're attacking the flag. Jesus, it's still me. I was staring at the ball and just for that one, just hook back to there because I was way off the ball. Right, rolling, mate. Um. What have I just seen? Come on! What a shot, mate! Right, so a very generous gimme. Can you can you confirm? Gimme. Right, there we go. So that is getting picked up. And Luke. Yeah. So so I hold out. Well, the gimme was for par. Which is huge for bogey golf, you guys know. I don't pick them up. I don't pick up many parts, so right, pressure on Luke here. Oh, too much pace. I didn't learn my lesson from my approach shot, did I? I like ice. <laughs> yeah. Tough greens. Shout out to Woolly Park by the way. So quick. Absolutely tremendous. Lovely greens. What a putt by the way. <laughs> What a foot. Right, Luke, what have we got here? So back to 1-1. 2-1. 2-1. So taking an all off me there. Oh, uh, well, get him where you can. <laughs> <laughs> so 2-1, talk us through this hole. Yeah, it's par 30. It's hole number 13, not a par 13. It's a par 4, 377 yards this. It's straight up, you can see it's stripy pull. It does bend slightly down to the right. Um, there's not really too much going on on this one. If you keep your tee shot in play, then you should have a fairly achievable approach shot. Yeah, S SI1 here, this is big leagues. Is it? I can't yeah. figure out why this is SI1. It's longish, but yeah. No, there's much harder holes down here. Yeah. I mean, it's not the worst miss ever, let's be honest. No, it will leave me probably 250 yards into the green. Yes. <laughs> right, par four for me is 331 yards. Kind of dog legs to the right. So a nice straight one would be lovely. Oh dear, I've outdone you. We played that green. <laughs> and I'm actually further back than you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm not so sure you are. I'm in the shadow of this tree, I think. So you will be. Oh dear. Toe shanky doodle, all the above. <laughs> right, so two about 225 I've got left after this lovely sky driver. 
Uh, so I'm going to take two iron. I get about 190 to 200 out of this club usually, so I won't get to the green, but it should leave me chipping. And then hopefully I can chip close. Maybe get a par. Should get a bogey. I like it. I think I've made my mistake already off the tee, so there's no point chasing it. Lovely strike. Yeah, that looked good, didn't it? Lovely. Looked very nice. All right, boys and girls. That looks like a terrifying shot over the trees, but it's the only way we can go because I'm definitely not going through them. So, gap wedge over the peak. Come on, let's have it. We'll get through it. Oh. Yeah, you got through right. it. We got through it, but kick left. <laughs> Long old approach. Right, we've got 170 out. Wind is slightly into. I'm gonna hit a six. Needs to be a really good one because Luke's, Luke's there, close. Stick it right near that DJ, mate. Oh, he might have done if this comes round. Wasn't the best strike, it's a little bit toey, but. Oh, it's a beautiful shot, mate. I think run. you're front edge, aren't you? Could be. Just yeah, not bad. Bunker. Not bad, we'll take it. Very, very nice. Rolly, rolly, rolly. We are rolling, mate. Right, 53 yards. Unfortunately, the line that I've left myself goes over this bunker. Um, so I'm going to take 60 again, given how much it rolled last time. The aim is to pretty much carry that bunker and then just see how far it can roll up to that pin. It looks like it's uphill a bit, so you shouldn't roll too far. Oh, oh, just bounced the wrong way off that hill, didn't it? Yeah. Centre of the green. Bad luck. Not, not but yeah, you put in. Yeah. What are you thinking here then? Um, so, 54 again. I quite liked how that last one sort of checked out and ran. Um, so, just a little, little guided, guided bump. Sort of a couple of yards on the green and I think it's just going to keep running. I don't think we're going to get much check today, so here we go. <laughs> we're putting. <laughs> we're putting. Right, so this is for the bogey. And Luke's got a par put over there, so let's see if we can two put this, maybe even hole out. Oh dear. Is this green on the side of a hill or something? <laughs> That's like, wow! It's not no for, chance. It's not forgiving, is it? No. See, this is now. I've no idea what this is going to do. I'm not in your line, right? What? Right. So that is a triple for me, so a very cushy putting finish for Luke coming up. Right, this for the par. So Luke, not... Luke basically has four putts <laughs> from where he is to halve the hole. Let's not mess it up. Three to win it. That's not a bad effort at yeah. all. I honestly thought... Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll give you that. I honestly thought that was going to come round more. It's a uh, generous Finish gimmick. Off like a true pro. Come on. Great hole to be fair. Great bogey. Yeah. To say the tee shot was a little bit wayward. Yeah. So. Right then. So 3 1 up to me. Uh, we're on to hole 14. This is a par 5 with a bit of a like slow dog leg round to the left. It's 463 yards. It's SI7, this one. Uh, so really the tactic is just to get it down to this tree that's in the middle of the fairway down there. That'll give you a look into the green. You can do this in two, particularly on a dry day like today. It's all sort of downhill the whole way. So good tee shot, good approach. We could be looking at an eagle putt. Don't talk dirty to me. It's going to be money, isn't it? I think it is, mate, yeah. It's 
Nice bit. Yeah. On. That should be lovely, that. Yeah, it looked great. It's a little bit right. Obviously, if you cut the corner more, you're even closer, but yeah. not bad. You take it. Not <laughs> you bad at take all. It. So I've got the advantage of about 10, 10 yards here. <laughs> yeah, the team have done you in. But as Luke said, this is one of those holes where it's not really much advantage because you have to sort of place your shot and yeah. shoot your distance. So you would have had to have been a long way down there to be like cutting the corner or something. Yeah. Come round. Oh, it's a bit toey. You know what? That's probably fine. Yeah. You a little bit the toey, but. Yeah, you pass the end of the trees, though, I think. You'll have a look. It'll just be long. It's a good job I'm long. <laughs> <laughs> right. 248 out on the second shot on a par five. So we're in a good position here. It's kind of let's not do anything stupid territory. Is there any, there's no water or anything right, is there? No. It's all just open, right? What you can see is basically the danger. I'm not even sure there's bunkers down there. Right, okay. Seven iron in hand. He's cranked another one. It should be all right. Little kick right, yeah, it's down there. Yeah, I think you'd be close to that hedge, but it should be okay. <laughs> You spent half your round collecting divots today, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> what did you call me earlier? The digger. The, the digger's digger. back out. <laughs> not too, not too far wrong, unfortunately. Steep boy. <laughs> he's got a glimmer in his eye. 209 to the pin, and he's got the big dug out, the two iron. The two iron. Okay, all right. Feeling so, confident. We like it. Yeah, so you might have seen on the channel, uh, I recently got my first eagle. Yes. So now I'm just chasing eagles. Well, that's what happens. <laughs> once, once you get one, it's uh, that's it. It's like a drug. So uh, yeah. I mean, I can't talk. I've never had one, but you'll have probably seen the second vlog actually that, that I've done. But I actually get two eagles that trip by the time this comes out. Oh my god! So yeah, the next round I eagle again, which is insane. Uh, I basically and I'm just playing off the reds. This is. I uh, basically drive the green with the Scottish wind behind you. It's unreal. And then I put, I put for about twelve foot. It's the easiest what a, eagle. What a see. time to be alive, right? Well, you've talked into existence now. Two iron, three foot from the pin. Here we go. Oh, it's the what. shape I wanted. It's gone too far right. It'd be green side. That'd be chipping. Yeah. Can't be too disappointed. Great. Yeah, I mean, it's a good strike. Yeah, just leaked right. It did. Uh, what's long, Luke? Um, nothing, it's just grass. Obviously you can see the bushes and that behind, but you've probably got, yeah, 10, 15 yards past that pin. I wouldn't, you won't want that chip coming back. Okay, right, here we go. 70 middle. Yeah, you don't want any longer than 70. Downhill, remember. Looks Should be nice. good. Sit. Oh. You're about to find out what's behind the back, mate. Yeah. Oh. Came out a little bit hot. <sighs> Testy shipping. <laughs> right. Bunker. Not a bad place to be, really, on a par five after two. Um, so if I can chunk this out onto the green, you never know, I might make a birdie still. Oh, Luke. Get in the hole. Oh, he's maybe three foot. <laughs> Any let up ever? <laughs> ever. Honestly, this guy is on smoke today. He's oh. genuinely, you must have played into like a four or five handicap today. Today it's been insane, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, my handicap's come down quite a lot recently as well to 12. So it's trending. It yeah, is. We'd love to see it. it we'd is. love to see it. All right, no time like the present to hold out. He's in there for, looks like about four or five feet. So it's a tough one. <laughs> Uphill. Show us some magic. Oh, I've pulled it. Lovely for speed. It was I've lovely for speed. It was actually a pretty good chip. You just chasing a little bit. Yep, yeah. yanked it. 
Yeah, I like the look of you your are. I like the look of your birdie putt if I'm honest, but <laughs> here for par. Not too shabby for a man of my standards. <laughs> no, you played this hole well, mate. Very well. Um when you read it and then you get to address it, it's like it looks like the exact opposite. <laughs> I know what you but mean. you just have to trust it. It will go left to right. Oh, it's cruel. It did go left to right. That's it a did. great roll. Yeah. Just a misread, if anything. Um, and in for a bogey, so not too shabby, but looks like Luke might be getting another one up on me. So two shots uh, to win the hole, isn't it? It is indeed. I would love a birdie. I feel like I've played well enough for a birdie today. Yeah, I mean, I, th I, I think you deserve more than a birdie on this hole. I'm lucky to get in the bunker, to be fair. Oh, it's dived on me. Great par. Thank you, mate. Great par. Shame about the birds, but we go four one up with how many to go is it three to go three to was go that 14 that one that was 14 so 15 16 17 18 i can't do maths four, yeah four to go uh so it's still doable then but he just I, needs to get his skates on i think <laughs> <laughs> it's it's still doable but i need i need some help from the tea boxes is what, is what i need <laughs> then Right then, hole 15 is a par four, it's 379 yards, SI 13. We've got a little bit of water left, which probably won't be too appealing to our man Dennis with his shot shape. But yeah, and my tee box all the way over there yeah. on the left. That's true actually, <laughs> yeah. that might help you I'm out. I'm basically that. in the water. <laughs> uh, so obviously if you can keep it left, it's back up to the shared green from a previous hole. So it's surrounded by bunkers a little bit. Uh, so the tee shot really is not the tricky one here, it's the next one. This absolutely crunched one. Yeah, that's up there. Let's see how tricky that is into the green then. <laughs> right, okay. I'm a little bit further forward. I'm gonna go for hybrid. Let's see if we can follow that tee shot. Really good one. I mean, Luke's not giving an inch today. He's playing out his skin, which we love to see. So, come on. Go, go, go. Yeah, you're fine. He's held up, Ooh, I think. I was so hooky. I nearly sort of hooked about the width of the fairway into the water. So we got away with one bad strike again. I thought you were safe we're on that there. tee box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I even went to the left side, <laughs> aimed out right, and still, it's magnetic. <laughs> it's magnetic. <laughs> I mean, maybe we weren't as close to water as I thought. Well, we, we hit it bad enough <laughs> so that the water wasn't danger. Um, long gold approach now, 178 to the flag. Six iron in hand. Oh. And into the, oh. Oh, it tried. Tried to get out. It tried. Honestly, the day coming and up. today, I don't think I deserve any more than that. 153. Oh. Um. Between clubs. Well, I sort of land a seven iron, probably about 155, 160 normally, but it's just rolling, isn't it? Yeah. It's just rolling. Oh, so we've been on that green before. Yeah, so I think an eight iron's the safe play, but whether it gets there, I just don't know. Oh, he's chunked one. Bounce ball. Jesus, that might get there. It genuinely might. That actually might get there, and I hit three inch behind the ball. <laughs> it's lucky I didn't connect with that. Essentially, See, I, I don't want to hear any complaining. You'll take it where you get it. <laughs> Ideally, I need to stick this close because I like the look of your approach there. So, it's chip off. It's just that yours is worse. <laughs> Not sure if you've seen my bunker game, Luke. Um, I got a front row seat here. That you have. Hey, out is out. Exactly. Exactly. 
the way I was playing maybe like a month ago, it'd be quite quite good to watch. Yeah. Quite a bit closer. Um, Roll in, mate, when you're ready. Right, here we go. Not shooting the yard, it's all in the fields now. Need to stick this close. It's not gonna sit, is it? We are getting zero stoppage. That pitched on this side of the green. <laughs> oh, it's brutal, isn't it? That, where, those where, greens where, was, where was I supposed to pitch if it rolls through the like green? Like before the green, I think you're supposed to pitch it before and roll them on. We almost need to play it like a Lynx course today, yeah, don't we? Yeah. Anyway, I'm actually happy with that shot, believe it or not. Rolling. Right then, 60 degree. Just because we're just not getting any check on these greens. Yeah, so, you've learnt a bit from mine there, I think. Yeah, I'm going to start it slightly right at that pin. Front of the green. See where it rolls. Oh my word. That is mental. My word. Absolute. I thought that was perfect. <laughs> I thought it had a chance of going in. Yeah. And now it's about 30 it's feet Not far fast. from mine. <laughs> right. Tough one to read. Into wind. Bit of a hit and hope, if I'm honest. Be a hell of a time to hold out. <laughs> imagine, imagine saying "hell of a time to hold out," followed by <laughs> the most unconvincing put in your life. <laughs> Do you know what, Luke? I'll, I'll hit this one again, and um, I think. It's a case of, is this, if this doesn't drop, I'm happy to concede the hole. Oh! Bit on the aggressive side. You gave it a go. And, um, yeah. I don't see you four-footing from there. I'd and be surprised. And was our maths, if you win this one, it's done. It's done. And with that concession, Luke, congratulations. You win early doors the video is cut short but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this collab me and luke hopefully will be bringing you a lot more videos like this in the future so yeah thank you guys if you haven't checked out his channel we'll pop it in the description below subscribe all those good things thank you guys for watching until next time cheers for having me mate